we're going to do here is demonstrate a preparation of the skin prior to using the Preston extractor. Uh, my client here I've been working with for, what, a couple of years now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we had a pretty aggressive acne condition in the beginning. Now uh, she's looking wonderful and it's we're just uh, maintaining that, uh, that good look. We had um, a, a lot of PAH up, uh, that was happening there. Uh, prior or, or after uh, the uh, all the inflammation from the acne that we had that's pretty much cleared up now maybe a little bit left but overall it looks really good so what we're going to do is uh, is get the skin cleansed uh, we're going to do an exfoliation on it using a, a mandelic peel uh, and then um, we'll uh, uh, be ready for our extraction portion of this so let's get a little mild steam going here How's that feel? Amazing. Good. Like a tropical breeze right on a windy day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take a um, salicylic uh, cleanser here. Get a little bit of this. How's that feel? Really good. I like it. It just helps loosen up some of that oil and debris in the, down in the follicles. Helps with the cleansing portion of this. It's pretty relaxed. Yeah, nice. Huh? We want to keep the steam temperature mild. Uh, one of the things that uh, we hear very often in treatment is how some professional skincare professionals really work that steam to a hot level. It's very uncomfortable. Uh, clients are often disinclined to tell the, their skincare professional that something uh, that is unpleasant. You know, they, respect what we do and I figured you know that where there's a purpose for this but we don't want them to endure something that doesn't feel good so if they're not telling us exactly how they are experiencing our treatment it may affect whether or not they come back <laughs> come back in the future so keep that steam mild uh, this particular steamer I'm using has variable levels of uh, 
steam intensity, which I really like. And, uh, and this extra long neck here, uh, if you're ever interested in finding out what this is, uh, you can uh, send me a message and I'll give you a link to it. I don't sell them, but I just happen to like this particular model. And online, people are always asking about these uh, sources of, these equi of the equipment. So, you know, I like to share it. And here, we'll use our salicylic toner here. And we'll acidify the skin. And get it ready for a mandelic peel. I'm just going to do a shorty for the sake of this video. Now my client here has been gone for, what, almost a month or more? Yeah, four uh, weeks. Four weeks uh, to a game reserve in South Africa, which was a great experience for her. I expected to see her skin in not so good of condition when she got <laughs> back, but she looks really good. So uh, we're doing something right. Yes. She didn't forget her products. She took everything with her, uh, her Prussian products, and they, mm -hmm. they worked for her while she was gone. So I'm very proud of her for that. And we're going to warm that just a tiny bit and then turn that steam off. Let's blot the skin so that the little water droplets don't feel cold on the face. I use my hands a lot it's for these tools, so that's why I didn't put the peel in a little bowl. Here we go. Hands were designed to do many different things. So we're going to go ahead and put this on for just a couple of minutes. How's that feeling? Good. Very good. Well, I'm glad that you didn't have a bad encounter with a rhino <laughs> in uh, South Africa. That's a scary animal. <laughs> yeah, that would be a story to tell. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of videos online with these from these safaris that people are on. And the rhino and the hippo, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, they are um, they're, they're a force of nature. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. And while that's curing, I will uh, get ready for the extractor's use. We'll put a tissue over here to collect any uh, oil and blackheads and so forth that we might encounter. There we go, a fresh Preston extractor right there. Get a neutralizer, disincrustation lotion here, and uh, we'll steam the skin a tiny bit more after this. Really get it softened up and ready for uh, the extraction process. This is a very simple desincrustation lotion here. Um, however, we may be developing our own. That's not a promise, <laughs> but it is possible that we will have one in the future to uh, get the skin in really good, softened condition for, uh, for, uh, for doing successful extractions. Is that feeling good? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. The acne treatments I do here at Preston Skin Center are very informal. They um, 
my clients come in and plop down and we get the job done. They were about 45 minutes long and um, they can, as far as extractions go, I was asked a, a question the other day about how long uh, you should spend on extractions. Well, my feeling is as you should spend as long as the process is going to make a, a big difference in the skin. Um, and when, when we're dealing with acne, uh, then of course, uh, if we've got a lot of congestion, a lot of inflammation, then we want to get out as much of that as possible because that's going to make the biggest difference. Then there will come a point, like with uh, my client here, where we remove so much and we got the all of the infection uh, removed and uh, uh, and uh, the skin under control, then we could start working on things like the the mild scarring here and the and the PIH and. Uh, and really helping with the skin's texture. So it, it sort of morphs over time, but all, the, but all the while making sure that we don't go in reverse on that acne. We don't want that to happen. So we're, gonna, we're going to um, keep an eye on that. All right. So typically I would run this peel a little bit longer, but this is just a demo for your benefit. We'll just get to remove the majority of this. Good. And then we'll neutralize that. We're going to run a little more steam also, just to get the skin soft, get the pH up. And then we'll begin to uh, perform our extractions. Okay, so we'll steam a little more here. How's that feeling? Perfect. Okay, great. And that's pretty much it. So th that that is a typical uh, uh, prep, uh, preparation for uh, for an extraction uh, acne facial. And um, after this, and of course, we'll go ahead and perform those extractions. After that, uh, we may use an LED treatment, certainly some high frequency, possibly um, uh, possibly a uh, a masking treatment, although I usually don't have time for that, but um, one of those uh, one of those uh, elements will go into this, and, and particularly because we're, we've been working with the PIH, I happen to like the um, uh, the LED treatments uh, 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 quite a bit. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, 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 please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, and uh, also look for uh, other demos uh, uh, on the press press extractor in use. So, wonderful. Thanks again for watching.